So at last check, San Diego had administered 527,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccine, but they're not being distributed equally among the county's diverse population. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aarons takes an in-depth look at what some minority leaders are calling the vaccine gap and the ways they are working to make it disappear. At a news conference at Petco Park Monday, Governor Gavin Newsom, San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria, Supervisor Nathan Fletcher, and Health Chair Dr. Wilma Wooten all used the same word repeatedly. That framework is exclusively targeted at equity. With our focus, as always, on equity. Because all of this is with an eye towards equity. Public health has used an equity lens. Equity. It's an important focus considering so far vaccine distribution has not been equitable when looking at the racial demographics of San Diego County. According to data from the census and the county's own vaccination dashboard, Latinos who make up 34.1% of the population have only gotten 14.1% of the vaccines. Black and African Americans make up 5.5% of the population but have only received 1.9% of the vaccines. The Asian population at 12.6% has only gotten 11.1% of the vaccines. These numbers infuriate minority leaders who point out minorities have borne the brunt of the pandemic. I'm angry because it seems like we don't exist. We need to do a better job. We're not. It's not surprising because this is the work that we've been doing for years. Minority groups say a combination of factors have led to the vaccine gap language barriers, cultural mistrust of vaccines and government, systemic racism in the healthcare system and beyond, technology access issues, and lack of vaccination sites close to minority populations. Nancy Maldonado, the chair of the Chicano Federation, says meeting people where they are has to be the first step to closing the gap. What we've learned is that the more outreach and education that we can do and address some of these misconceptions head on, the less the, re the resistance is or the reluctance to want to get the vaccine. Meanwhile, NAACP Health Committee Chair Dr. Jerome Robinson says the country has a legacy of leaving minorities behind, so a vaccine response needs to break from the status quo. We cannot do things as we've always done them uh, just because we can. We have to think of new ways to do things if we're going to get this virus under control. The NAACP sent this letter to the county Monday highlighting the problem, even pointing out that the packets of PPE distributed in the black community were inadequate because the masks weren't packaged properly. Now, what does that tell people? It tells people, well, we don't care, but here's something, you know, you take this. Dr. Robinson says the county should put vaccine clinics in community churches and use trusted black voices to spread the message about safety. The Filipino community has its own issues. Joanne Fields, the director of the Filipino Resource Center, says even though the Asian numbers don't show as wide a disparity as others, they hide major problems in the Filipino community because all Asian subcultures are lumped together. Filipinos specifically, we are the second largest ethnic group in San Diego, and it seems like we're invisible. Her community is calling for the data to be more specific and for the county to put out information in more languages. If there's one person, regardless of race or ethnicity that is impacted, that's one person too many. The governor admitted Monday that the first groups of people to get the vaccine, healthcare workers and first responders, weren't representative of the state's diversity. So the early numbers would be skewed. But the plan going forward is to bring those numbers back in line. On outreach, Newsom says the state just gave tens of millions of dollars to 110 community-based organizations, with another $40 million for statewide culturally competent messaging. As far as access, San Diego has 20 vaccination sites spread across the county and more planned. It's given minority leaders hope that change is coming. Right now, the state doesn't track vaccine data by demographic. Only individual counties do that. Governor Newsom says he's working to compile all of that data and release it by the end of this week. In the meantime, he says he's hopeful that as more vaccines roll out and the numbers rise, that vaccine gap will shrink. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. 
Now on 10news.com, we have put together an infographic of all the major coronavirus demographic data for San Diego County. You can look through it to see how each group compares when it comes to cases, deaths, and vaccinations.